How's it going? Yeah, my name is Nigel Chambers of Big O Belt Media. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you. you too. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. The little bittersweet moment here. Um, I guess, you know, first question, looking back, reflecting back into six really powerful seasons as we prepare for November 10th. Uh, what's sort of been your emotions through this entire ride? And ultimately, what will sort of be your advice to give to the fans as we get near um, that, that, that last and closing moment? Mm. Uh, my advice would be buckle up. Yeah, that's buckle fair. Up. Yeah, yeah. that would be my, my, my advice. My advice um, would be to remember love. Just let's, we, we got to come back around to loving each other at some point. Yeah. So buckle up and remember love. Right That's on, it. right on. Love it. I love to hear. Um, throughout the six seasons, and um, even especially season six, there's been a ton of guest appearances and cameos. Um, has there been any moments that you all have kind of either looked back to and kind of chuckle, or just moments overall you've just been excited, of, excited about in terms of cameos and appearances? Oh, man, I can go right to mine, uh, Lou Gossett Jr. Uh, mm-hmm. Lou Gossett Jr., who played in one episode, Audra's father, the, the progenitor of the firm, the name, you know, of Redding. Um, I'm in a scene with Lou Gossett Jr. one night, and, and across from me is Delroy Lindo, and behind me is uh, Niambi, and, and my life at that point could not have felt more surreal because... It's Lou Gossett Jr. I mean, <laughs> there are actors that walk into rooms, and I've worked with a few of them, where people just automatically go, oh, uh, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. He's, he's, a, he's here. <laughs> I saw it with Sidney Poitier. I've seen it with Michael J. Fox. And now I saw it with, uh, and he could, with Lou Gossett Jr. And he could not have been more decent and more gracious. And of course, fantastic. And so that's, and, and that is in a, in, in a show full of great, great actors and great guest stars he really stood out for me yeah 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 still i you? still remember i still remember him saying uh, put your ear to the ground the way he said it <laughs> yeah i still i still feel it like i'm still putting my ear to the ground because you know he just you know he just put he's he's incredible um since you already said lou gossett uh because lou gossett was i mean would be like the number one right. um my mine's actually coming is, is going to show up later. Um, Michael Boatman, Michael. You show yeah, it's Michael Boatman, Boatman, which actually it'd be a, a star that's that would be leaving, but that but unfortunately we're all leaving. So um, right. uh, so anyway, we're all uh, fired. <laughs> we're, we're all fired. Um, no, um, no, uh, uh, it's a character that's coming uh, later. Uh, she's already been uh, announced. Uh, Felicia Rashad, which was um, oh yeah, you know, come on. I mean, that's that that you know. Uh, I've always I was always scared scared of her because she's just I mean yeah got this like aura about her, and then got But then working with her, she is one of the loveliest, funniest people you know uh, to get to work with. I mean, I worked with so many amazing folks. Daniel Breaker is another one who um, he's in my favorite musical ever, uh, Passing Strange. He led that, um, and then uh, one of my you know sort of mentors coming out of uh, grad school was M- Mandy Patinkin, and to see yeah. you know for him to join us that was incredible. Um, Bro, you so, worked yeah. with Ben Vereen, my man. I mean, and then Ben effing Vereen. <laughs> <laughs> you forget because he was Fred, he was Frederick Douglass. You know, yeah. and so in fact, Ben Vereen would be uh, would be right up there as far as one one like one A one B because uh, I was a big fan of Zubilee Zoo growing up. You know, Zubilee Zoo, Pippen and you know, <laughs> oh so you know he was the mayor. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. so like so yeah, so I mean, you know, Ben Vereen. Oh my God, I mean, the stuff that we got to do last season was so so uh important um yeah to, to me and to us and and um uh, and um now as i'm thinking about him it, it's um it's breaking me up uh yeah he's um he's a special dude he's a special man special 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 special, yeah. special artist. absolutely for my final question i just want to know you know again looking back at six seasons What's sort of that lasting impression you want fans to take away from the legacy of this show? Wow. That's 
Um, that's a great question. You know that there is turbulence and then there is peace and then there's turbulence. Mm -hmm. But I think if, if we are all, I said something about love earlier in the day and there's- there's Two minutes ago, you said it two minutes ago. Really, did I? <laughs> yeah, you said it two minutes ago. Yeah, just, just <laughs> that, that our, politics, our politics are not the most important thing about us. It's our humanity, you know, our yeah. humanity, humanity, oh boy, I was going to say humanity trumps politics, but <clears throat> humanity uh, beats politics in terms of what's important. And I think we see that in the show. I certainly do. Absolutely. Michael Bowman gave up playing, Michael Bowman gave up playing the trumpet for the flute because he could not say Trump. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, it's literally the most <laughs> random thing I've ever heard you say. Okay. Uh, no, uh, what what I want people to come to come away with, away with is um, literally the 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 title. You know, in terms of fighting the good fight, and yeah. it's yeah. just you know, it's funny. Um, I think I re remember the show being called something else um, when it first started, like the very first script. You oh, know, wow. it's called something. I think it was called like the Greater Good or something like that. Oh, and um, yeah, right. And then, um, and then ultimately it was the, the the good fight, and um, and that's what we've been doing is trying to fight the good fight, and yeah. uh, it sh it shows up in different ways. We're we're all flawed uh, in that effort, uh, but as long as we're making that effort to to, uh, to you know fight the good fight, then I, I think then uh, it's good. Uh, during the, this uh, Zoom, my mama tried to call me. <laughs> um, so I, that's why I uh, I glitched. Okay. So anyway, um, but yeah, that that's what it is. Is just keep keep fighting the good fight. Um, uh, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for everything you've done uh, in in terms of entertainment, but in terms of society, in terms of the culture, in terms for uh, us black. Uh, men in America, um, you know, I wish we can have six more of these, but, you know, for all the work you've done, that's why I'm inter internally grateful, and hopefully we'll be talking to each other soon. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you, Nigel. Absolutely. Take care. Thank all you. All right, brother.